In this lesson, I'll introduce you to the Joomla Media Manager and show you how to add images to your articles. Before you start working with images, it's important to understand something about image sizes. If you've worked with photos for a while online, you'll no doubt be well familiar with this, but if you're new, then this is an important concept to understand. Images, particularly photos taken with modern digital cameras, can be very large, both in terms of the size they take up on your screen and the file size. If you don't resize images before putting them on your web page, they'll look out of proportion to the rest of the page, and your visitors will get frustrated as they wait a long time for the image to be displayed. So, it's important to resize images before placing them in your articles. You do this using your favourite image editor, but if you've never used one before, I'll give you a very quick overview of how to use a program called Picasa. You can download this for free from picasa.google.com. You should be familiar with downloading and installing by now, so I'll skip ahead and assume that you have it all set up. When you first run Picasa, it scans your hard drive and creates a catalogue of your images. Find your image and double click it. Feel free to use any of the editing features, but when you're done, you choose File, Export Picture to Folder. Picasa will keep your original file intact and save your edited version in a new location. Make a note of where it will be saved or click the Browse button to change the location. Under Image Size Options, change the image width to something manageable. You'll need to experiment a bit before you find a size that suits you. I'll choose 240 pixels and make sure that that's typed in here. Click OK and the resized image will be saved and the saved location folder will open up. I'll close that and head over to the Joomla Administrator. Once you've logged in, click the Media Manager button. This is where you can upload images and any other files. Joomla uses a folder called Stories to hold images, so go ahead and click that here in the left column. Notice that there are a few sample images there already, as well as a couple of sample subfolders called Food and Fruit. Uploading a new image is easy. Just click the Choose File button, find the image you wish to upload and double click it. Then click the Start Upload button. Now that your image has been uploaded, head over to the Article Manager. Under the Content Manager, click Article Manager. I'm going to search for the article I wrote before by entering the word plain here and clicking Go. Click on the title to edit. Now decide where you want your image to go. In my case, I'll place it at the right hand side of the first paragraph. Click in the editor at the position where you want it. Even though I want my image on the right, I'll click here at the start of the paragraph. Now look underneath the editor and click the image button. A new window appears showing you all the files in your stories folder. Click the appropriate image and provide a short description here. Also choose where you would like the image to appear, either at the left or the right of your insertion point. Finish by clicking the insert button at the top right. You can now see that your image has been inserted, but you still need to save the article. I'll show you a couple of extra features at this point. Instead of clicking Save, click the Apply button. This saves the article, but the editing window remains open instead of returning to the article manager. This shortcut saves a bit of time if you need to return to the article to edit it. Just remember to close or save it so Joomla unlocks the file. Another handy feature is Preview. When you're in the e article editing window, you can click this Preview button to open a new window that displays your article. 
You can also click this preview button to open a new window that displays the front end of the site. When I do that and click through to my aircraft articles article, I can see my newly inserted image. One final point with images. When you have a few images to upload, you'll probably find it easiest to use the Media Manager. However, you might have noticed another possibility. Let's go back to Administrator and click anywhere within the article. Now click the Image button again. Did you notice the Upload function here? You could start writing an article and insert an image straight into the Stories folder from here. Then select it as we did before and insert. I'll now remember to close this article. And that's all you need to know about images. It's now time to talk about the look of your site, which I'll explore in the next lesson, which is all about Joomla templates. You've now learnt almost everything you need to know to build a basic Joomla website. But there is so much more to consider. Search engine friendly pages, backups and security, how to create a blog, an online shop and membership sites. Just click the link below this video to discover more about the advanced training.